Okay, folks, Bob McCarthy here with one of the greatest legends in pro wrestling history, second generation wrestler, the one and only Barry Windham. BW here, Legends of the Ring. Barry, how's it like being here with all the legends today? Well, you know, I've got to meet a lot of people and uh, see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. And uh, it's actually been a very rewarding experience. And I'm glad to see that everybody's been out here uh, that has been here has enjoyed it. And I hope that they'll enjoy the rest of the day. You won so many titles in your illustrious career with Mike Rotundo, the WWE Tag Team Champions, the becoming the NWA Champion, and a member of Notorious Full Horsemen. What was it like, your years with the Horsemen? Probably those were the most uh, memorable, you know, the, the travel with the Horsemen, just, uh, and, uh, you know, the, the times in the ring, just the, uh, the opponents that we faced, uh, you know, it was always the best of the best uh, when, we were, when we were as the Horsemen. Uh, not to say anything less of any of any other partners that I had. It's just that with the horsemen, you know, it was just a, a level that we had to live up to, whether it was in the ring or outside the ring. And uh, those are those are some of the most memorable times. Incredible. And one of the great maneuvers you did was the, the iron claw, the submission. Nobody does that anymore. You had the black glove on and make people submit. What do you think about submission holds? Nobody does that anymore. And you had the claw, one of the great things around the 80s. Well, I believe the thing with uh, submission holds, you know, now we have... Uh, uh, you know, uh, mixed martial arts, uh, so so we have a lot of submission wrestling, you know, out there uh, with pro wrestling as it is, you know, uh, uh, pro wrestling entertainment. Uh, people want to see more of the you know, flying around and, and more of the acrobatics and, and stuff like that. So that's probably why you don't see as many of the submission holds in, say, WWE or TNA uh, than you did in years past. Brother Kendall, your father, Blackjack Mulligan, did you know as a child that you were going to get in the business with your father being so popular as a wrestler? No, no, not really. I, you know, I remember as a kid really uh, kind of swearing it off because, uh, you know, I saw uh, my, my dad was a heel. So, so of course, I saw the, uh, you know, kind of the rough side of, of the wrestling business as it was, you know, because fans, you know, didn't like him. So, so then, you know, just being a kid and seeing it that way, I didn't really want to have any part of it. And it, was, it wasn't until I was in, the, in college that uh, I decided that, you know, I wanted to be a part of it. What do you think is probably one of the greatest moments of your career? If you could sum up one night where you just took it all in and thought, you know what, this is one of the greatest moments of my career, what moment would you think that would be? You know what, they're, they're really, I, I wish that there was one defining moment. But, uh, you know, my career has been so long, you know, from – from the late 70s uh, all the way up till now, you know, with, with something to do with wrestling, that uh, there's not any one moment that could really sum it all up. Uh, you know, I, I've, had, I've had moments that I get to look back over, you know, the times with the Horseman, times with Rotundo, you know, times with Bradshaw, uh, you know, just to name a few that, that, you know, are memorable times in my career. But uh, to sum it all up in one, I just can't do it. It was such an honor. Barry, thank you so much. An honor to have you on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, put it up right here. The full horseman, the one and only Barry Windham.